Guild has gone retro with their memoir series, and we are here to tell you all about it, so stay tuned. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. We're here with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and like our videos. If you'd like to support the channel, visit our Teespring store linked below for our custom designed t-shirts and other goodies. So we have two guilds. Two guilds don't make it right. But in this case, it's pretty all right. It's all right. It's all right. Now, these are great new guitars. Uh, part of a memoir series is actually two models that are the memoirs. Uh, there's a parlor, and then this. This is the DS240. It's basically a round shoulder dreadnought. It seems smaller than a normal dreadnought, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Is it just me? It's it's comfortable. I, I'd have to look at the dimensions, because I'm like, it just, like, it seems smaller than a J45, but I don't know that it is. It's weird. Anyways, perspective, it can throw you off. Fantastic guitars, affordable pricing. These are $499. They are made in China, designed in California by Guild, and they definitely have a certain kind of throwback aesthetic to them, wouldn't you say? Yeah, definitely. It's uh, it's weird. I've been listening to a ton of, you know, like Laurel Canyon type stuff. A lot of them back in the day were playing cool Guild acoustics, but yeah. now there's like all these artists that I listen to in LA right now and they're kind of going back to guilds, which is kind of cool. I feel like this is definitely catering to something like that, sort of a, you know, Laurel Canyon throwback 70s vibe. Yeah, you know, I think guilds, they've always kind of been, oh, I don't even want to say it this way, but kind of like the other ran of the vintage guitar, you know, acoustic guitars. You had Martin and Gibson as your big hitters, and then coming up the rear was guild, and I... I hate that because guilds are so awesome. Yeah. And like you said, there's raw, there were a lot of really great players, both today and back in the day, particularly in the folk scene, that understood how great they were. And you know, I'd say they might have actually bought them once upon a time for the reason that they might have been more affordable yeah. than some of the alternatives, but they were in some ways better guitars and really just fantastic instruments. I fell in love with guilds. Uh, you know, when I first started playing back in the 90s, and a friend of mine's dad had a six string maple guild jumbo that he brought up out of the case. And it must have been, it was probably right out of the 60s or 70s. I didn't know enough back then yeah. to appreciate, other than he handed me this guitar. And all I'd played at that point was like a Yamaha that was on loan. And I played that guitar. And I was like, this is amazing. Yeah. You know, and so that That's was great. my introduction to guild. And then, you know, playing D55s and stuff over the years. They're fantastic guitars. Their Westerly collection, which is what these are part of, really offer that guild feel, aesthetic, and experience at a more affordable price point. And I think these, I want your opinion on it, I think these might be some of the best values at $4.99. Yeah, they'll probably make a lot of our year-end lists this uh, 2020. You know, last, last year we did like six under 600, I think, yeah. for acoustic and electric. Great guitars on both. I'm looking ahead. I think we'll probably have these. This will probably yeah. be on the list, yeah. So I really dig the sound of it, and it's interesting. So the, the sound that comes out of these does seem to harken back to kind of a vintage-inspired. There's definitely some emphasis on the low end, but it's not that lo-fi kind of choked-out sound. There's a lot of resonance to it. Yeah. So the treble is present. It's just not overbearing, and you kind of want some more low-end which is what this guitar provides. And that all happening with a solid spruce top but laminate mahogany back and sides. So it looks like uh, ebony or rosewood. These are actually pal ferro on the bridge and the fingerboard, open gear tuners. And I seriously, seriously dig the script yeah, the headstock. Yeah, headstock is awesome. And I don't, I might be wrong. I don't think that was ever actually an original guild Logo. I haven't seen it. It looks like if Guild was around in the 20s, that would have been their logo, but Guild yeah. wasn't around in the 20s. Uh, well, it's around in this 20s. So Oof. this is the 20s logo. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, but I could be wrong. If that's a if that's a vintage Guild logo I'm not familiar with, y'all can let us know in the comments below. Um, but overall, very, very cool guitar. Doesn't come with a case, doesn't come with electronics, has a wonderful burst finish to it. And I feel like there was seemingly a lot of attention paid yeah. to the neck and the setup. Yeah. No, it, it feels great. It's uh, I got to do the demos on this one, um, and I played a few different styles. Everything just came very easily. Neck's very comfortable, and I was really surprised by like the sustain and the resonance. Mm -hmm. So 
ringing out big chords, like I kind of tried to just show how long you can really hear. And there's so much like kind of rich harmonic kind of, you know, vibe. It's really impressive for something in this price range. And yeah, it's cool. I like and it. very comfortable neck. It's a, it's a narrower by a lot of standards, one and 16th inch nut, which is narrower than I'm used to. The parlor mm -hmm. actually has a wider nut width. And yet I felt very comfortable on this guitar. So all in all, I think the, the takeaway I have from this is it is a very pleasant surprise coming in right under four, $500 to be such a good guitar with such classic looks. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So we're going to cut to Cooper playing, which he's already done, and you're going to hear exactly what we're talking about, of how great this instrument is for the price. Check it out. So there you have it. There's a little something on the DS240. I definitely enjoyed playing this guitar and I'm really kind of excited with some other stuff that Guild's doing right now too. They just put out those baritones mm -hmm. um, that are exciting and cool. 
I never got to play that chocolate cake that you had such an affinity for. The D55. Yeah. Yeah, we've had trouble getting more D55s in. We've had people requesting the D55. We need more D55s. I am in love with that guitar. It's just one of the richest sounding dreadnoughts. And, you know, and I really like, there's something about having a guitar that, given Guild's reputation, is maybe not the first choice that everybody has Mm -hmm. because you're kind of in on the secret, you know? Mm -hmm. You figured out stuff that maybe the masses haven't learned yet. And that just makes you cool. (laughs) (laughs) I will say also, I've had, when I'm here at the store, I've gotten a few calls. I'm sure you have too. Um, from people that do watch the channel. So if I'm talking about you, you'll know who I'm talking about. But um, that have asked about these specific guilds in comparison to other, you know, things within that that class and that price range. And to everybody I've had to say, I've heard good things, but I haven't played them yet. Now I have played them. I can now make the recommendation that they are worthwhile. Um, A lot of people... Kind of wondering too if it's worth it to jump up from like an entry level Yamaha or you know yeah. some of the things that we've talked a lot about, and uh, yeah, I wholeheartedly would recommend this guitar if you're looking for some in this price range that fits the criteria. It's uh, delivers. Well, it's hard to find anything in this price range that plays this well, feels mm-hmm. this good, and it's an even smaller uh, or, or more difficult ask because it's a smaller segment of the price range here to have something that is a round shoulder that has kind of vintage looks to it. Mm -hmm. And so this checks a lot of boxes if you're looking for that particular sound and look. So yeah, very, very highly recommend on our list. If you'd like more information about these guitars, you go to our website, it's alamomusic.com. Also in the description, we will link directly to the landing page for these guitars. You can check out all of the specs there and also ask questions chat live with an associate and they can hook you up with photos and anything else that you need to help you make an informed purchase because that's what we're all about is helping you make an informed purchase on our website Uh, or anywhere else. Anyways, (laughs) if you're new to our channel, this is what we talk about. It's guitars, right? We talk about guitars pretty much all the time. Even when the camera's off, it's pretty much all guitars. So if you're into that, make sure that you subscribe, you turn on notifications, like our videos, comment below, tell us what you think about these guitars, if you've had a chance to play one or if you already own one, or if it is right up your alley, we'd love to hear from you. At the end of the day, the very best guitar is? The one that is a guild with the 19 or 2020s logo (laughs) on the headstock. (laughs) Or the one that you're making music on. So keep making music, we'll see you next time. Thank you.